Hello again, my volume-seeking friends. So we're going to take a look at a composite figure and say, how do we find the volume of this crazy thing? This is the first problem in our worksheet. And as you can see, this is not strictly a rectangular prism. We can't just do length times width times height because it has a funky L shape and it doesn't have a consistent length, width, and height. What we can do is decompose it or break it into two different ones. And when I do this, I'm always going to break it horizontally just for consistency. You can break it vertically, but we're just always going to do it the same way to make it uh, simple. So when I look at this, I said it's shaped like an L and I'm going to break up kind of the tall part here. So now I have kind of this rectangular prism, right, with the height down here. And I'm going to try to find the volume of this one by determining the length times width times height. And I have this rectangular prism here. And I'm going to try to find the volume of this by determining length times width times height. One of these is going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy, and one of these is going to involve a little bit of math. Just a little bit of math. Um, it can be done. It can. So let's start with the one that I've highlighted in blue here. I see here, we'll call this the length is 5. And over here, I see the width is 3. And the height is shown in layers. And I can see this has one, two layers. So there's my length, there's my width, and there's my height. Um, 5 times 3 is 15. 15 times 2 is 30, and in this case, our worksheet tells us that these are measured in centimeters, so this will be cubic centimeters, and we got to have that little 3 if we're using this as our, as our unit um, label to show that this is a three-dimensional thing. Now, 30 cubic centimeters only gives me part of the volume I need. I've got to get back to that top rectangular prism that I decomposed. This is where it's going to be just slightly tricky, but not really if, if we slow down and think about it. So here I see the length is 3. Great. The width, hmm, there isn't a number there. Here's what I see. The total width for both of these was 7, but the bottom part that we used for the blue prism was 3. That means that whatever whatever I have here that I need for my width is 7 take away 3 or 4 centimeters. And height remember is shown in layers so it shows me 1, 2 layers. So the, the only thing here that is a little tricky is that for one of the prisms you're going to have to do a little bit of calculating to find the exact um, one of the exact um, measurements. All right, length times width times height is how we find volume. This is the third week of doing this part, so hopefully we're feeling pretty good about it. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. And because we are measuring in three dimensions and it's centimeters, it's 24 cubic centimeters. Not done. So I know that this top, or um, in my case, red, um, prism is 24 cubic centimeters. This bottom one in blue is 30 cubic, cubic centimeters. To find the total volume, I just have to add them up, which means the total volume for this is 54 cubic centimeters. I hope that was helpful. I'm going to go on to do number two. When you look at it, pause the video, and I want you to see if you can decide, hey, where is the horizontal um, break going to be? Do I think I can try it on my own? And then maybe use the video to check my work so that I am learning. That's the learning part. Okay. All right. So here is figure two. Did you pause it and try to figure out, okay, how could I break this up and what would that look like? You can always try to do a little, little drawing on your own paper if that helps. Here's where I would break it. Because again, I said I'm going to make horizontal breaks. And, and again, it's kind of an L shape, a really fat L um, in, in the long part. But 
if I break it there, I have two rectangular prisms. And again, I'm going to take one part and make it red. I'm going to do that work down here. And I'm going to take this other part. Oh, yeah. And this is just me kind of visualizing it for myself and for you. I'm going to make this other part blue. If I need to find the volume of this composite, then what I'm going to have to do, of course, is determine the volume of each of these separate rectangular prisms and then add them together to find the total volume of the composite. All right, I'm going to start at the bottom here with the one that I've highlighted in red. I want you to stop and look. Can you figure out what the length, the width, and the height is? This one, the, the numbers are kind of there for you. They are there to observe. So the length is 5, the width is 3, and the height, remember, it just shows us in layers, and I see 1, 2, 3 layers. From there, I determine the volume by multiplying those three dimensions, right? Um, this time I'm going to go this way. I'm going to say 3 times 3 is 9, and 5 times 9 is 45. And since this is in centimeters, that makes this cubic centimeters. And that little 3 tells us we just multiplied 1, 2, 3 dimensions. All right. So the top one's where we have to do a little bit of the work. If, if you had a little problem the first time around trying this on your own, pause now and see, can you figure out the length, the width, and the height on your own? That's the hardest part of this, and when you figure it, when you get good at that, then you, you own this for yourself. You don't need help anymore. So stop and look. What's the length, the width, and the height? One of them, you're going to have to do a little math. Maybe more than one. Oh, hmm. All right, so here the length is four. And the width, hmm, this is the width, seven for the whole thing, huh? But I'm not using the whole thing. This part was three, and I don't want that part. So the total is seven take away three. It looks like, again, we have four centimeters for the width. That's, that's the calculation that you have to do. And the height, the height is consistent. There's three layers. All right. And for me, you can multiply these in whatever order you want. And I'm just multiplying them in the order that is mental math for me. And since this is done in centimeters and we are measuring three dimensions, cubic centimeters is the unit. Okay, do you remember what we have to do to find the total volume? Yeah, we have to take the partial volumes that we have here, the volume of the um, two different rectangular prisms, and we have to add them. And we have to have that correct label to show we know what this number means. Okay, I hope this helps. You can do this thing. Go back and rewatch because it will help with literally all of the problems.